Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this quick video I'm going to show you how to create a vertical mega menu just like this. All this. All this. Or even these other sections in your Elementor website for free. Let's dive straight in. To get started the number one thing you have to do is want to come to menus and create your menu. Of course you can't create a mega menu without a menu so you should have a menu. Already I've created a menu right here. I named it vertical menu. To create a menu simply come over here and say add new. By creating a new menu you can give it a name. New menu. Create the menu and you can assign pages to that menu just like this and there you are good to go and save the menu so in this case we don't want to use this menu because i already have a menu that i'm going to use so i'll delete this menu and this is the menu i'm going to be using called the vertical mega next thing we are going to do is we are going to come over here to the plugins area we are going to add a new plugin and the plugin we are going to use is a free plugin called HTMega add-ons. Simply install and activate. Once it's activated, it will show up right here in the dashboard menu. Once you open it right over there and you come over to advanced option, you have to make sure that the menu builder is activated. By activated, it should be in blue. Simply save changes. And now this means that you will be in position to create mega menus in your Elementor website for free. So besides creating mega menus, HD Mega add-ons comes with a couple of free amazing widgets you can use to build up your Elementor website just like all these other widgets here. So you'll check them out right there. So once you are done there, you come over here to the HT menu and right here you are in position to style up your menu items or your mega menu items that you're going to be creating like for example the mega menu background mega menu widget sub menu items on hover sub menu items color and a lot more but we won't be doing anything right there so in this case what we are going to do is to create a header template so i'm simply going to come over here to templates save templates and I have already created my header right here. So you can simply create your templates using your Elementor template builder. So for example, by coming over here to add new, you just select a section and you can name it, give it any name, and then you say create template. So once you are done creating your section and adding all the menu items that you want, for example, I have already added this section here at the top and then I have also added this uh, widget here with a background image. And then here I added our menu. So how did I do that? So I simply created here a new section. And then I made sure it is two columns with one column being the largest. So here I gave it 25. And the other one I gave it 75. And then over here in the first column I came here to the widgets area and then I looked up for mega menu which is a vertical mega menu then i placed it over here and then here i was in position to select my menu that i want to use which is the vertical mega menu and boom this is it right here and then the other thing what i had to do was simply now to save this section for now and then i came over here to my menu section and appearance menus and I came over here to my vertical menu section. And then when I click over one of the items here on the drop down, it will ask me to enable the section to be a mega menu. For example, if I come over here to the about section, I can enable this section to be a mega menu. And once I enable that section, then I can select a template that I want to use in that section as our mega menu. You see this right here that shows up here is a template that I've already created with Elementor. The same for this one, which is also a mega menu item, just appearing under the project section. So in this case, 
I have to select what kind of sections are going to appear in that specific menu item as the mega menu item. So these are supposed to be already made templates with Elementor. In that case, let me show you how these look like. For example, when I come over here to the save templates, when I open them right here, you realize that I have these all save templates right here, including the pricing menu, hero image with background, even our FAQ section. This is how this looks like. And this is how this other section looks like with even clickable items and buttons. So these are simply sections that you can create using Elementor template builder. So once you have your sections saved right there, then right under here, our mega menu or our vertical mega menu, you can simply assign the sections to the area where you want them to appear. So now we have already assigned our templates to the right sections we want them. For example, the pricing template is going to show up under our services. Once you have assigned your sections to the right mega menu items, simply hit save. So right here, we're still building our header section and we had assigned our vertical mega menu. And once you assign the right templates to the right menu items, they will show up right here on hover. And that's how these templates come to show up right here. That's the one number step of creating your mega menu items and now they are appearing under your specific menu items now we have to make sure that we make right use of this space right here so at the moment since our mega menu is going to be clickable in other words people are going to click on these mega menu items we are going to give it a small z index of about 10 so i'm going to come over here and come to advanced and you give that section a z index of 10 and this is basically to position it above the other sections that are going to be on that same page okay just like this here so that when someone hovers over here they are in position to have that section show up the mega menu item however if you don't give it the z index it means that this other column that we are going to show up here will cover up this menu items so we have our vertical mega menu showing up right here and we have assigned that this section is appearing on top so it means that this is going to be our overall header on our website next thing we're going to do is come back to your dashboard come right here to the ht builder and then we are going to make sure that we come over here to the header template and here we're going to assign our header as our header template so by clicking on it there and selecting our header as our header template that means that the header we have created here with all these items here this section and all this section will appear on our website as our header section now once you are done making changes to that then now we are going to open up one page so we are going to come here to pages all pages and then we'll open up this page called past new now by default it is looking like this first of all it is showing our website header and the welcome screen and our vertical mega menu and this space is blank and then the other website content is showing up now what we are going to do is we are going to open this page with elementor and since we want to cover up this section that is kind of blank we are going to add a new section right just above this other section so i'll simply say add new section and i'm going to add a new section i'm going to make it two columns i make the other column 25 and I make this other column 75% and then I am in position to add any content right to this other column now what I'm going to do is to move this section right to the top right here by coming over there and coming to advanced section and link the margin section and we are going to move this whole section 350 pixels at the top so that's how now we are having our section show up right here with the content this can be different content based on the page or if this is about page services page all goes back to what you want you can switch this content to what you want now we simply hit update once you update now when we preview our page so it will show up our header right here and our welcome image and also our other section and our vertical mega menu and also the other page content right now for all the other pages you'll have to do the same so that you have your vertical mega menu show up right here and when it's still clickable 
but also on the other hand when you have some content right here on your page it can be a different layout you want to use or a different way you want to portray it or you may simply want your vertical mega menu just to be up here besides this section you simply just have to move it so now when i take you to the other pages for example the builder page realize that they all have a vertical mega menu show up on them just like this when i come over to my home i hover over that it shows my mega menu when i come over here to my blog it shows the normal menu which are just sub menu items and then the services page it shows my mega menu here and also when i come here to the projects page it shows my frequently asked questions section which are also clickable and also when i come over here to my contact it shows the map and also the contact information right here anyway that's a quick tutorial on how you can create a vertical mega menu in elementor for free in case you have any questions comments please let me know down in the comment box below and in case you like the video please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one